Hello there, welcome back to another video of mine. Or if you're new and you've just come across this video, come and subscribe, come along for the journey. Hello and welcome. This video is, it's been a long time coming, I won't lie to you. I've been wearing cowboy boots until the cows come home, pardon the pun. Um, I basically wanted to do a uh, styling of my cowboy boots because I'm obsessed with them. I can't go a day without wearing them. I'm obsessed, basically. And I thought I'd show you guys how I'm styling them for spring, summer. And if it gives you some inspiration, glorious. If it doesn't, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Dislike it and move on. But first I thought we I should introduce you to my besties that are the cowboy boots. So I was, I did actually go on a little bit of a journey with my cowboy boots. I won't lie to you. I have tried Stradivarius. I have already got some from Pull and Bear and then I decided to find some, well, I decided then to have a little look on Simply Be. I have got bigger calves compared to the normal lassie. All right, so thicker calved girlies, you found one, all right? This is even more reason for you to come and subscribe. So yes, let's meet the lassies that you're going to be um, seeing styled in the video. So the first pair we have are these gorgeous little brown, sort of like suede styled um, cowboy boots. So these ones are from Simply Be, as I said, I got them on JD Williams, which is basically the exact same website, but it's basically like an ASOS. That's the only way I can describe it to you. Um, and they had these on the website and they had a really good discount as well. I will pop it down below for you if you want to go and shop it. I'll pop all the links to everything that I possibly can down below just for you. So I got a brown pair and I've also got a black pair, which I'll show you in a second. Um, but these I did get in like two separate sizes and you definitely could have gone for your usual size. Um, so these are a seven and I could have gotten away with getting a six. I am normally a six, but because of the size of the cowboy boots beforehand when I was at like Stradivarius and the pull and bear ones as well they're quite like tight around the foot so I wondered if that would be the same and it's not because they are a wide fit anyway this fit is I think as well so they fit perfectly so just get your normal size just a little FYI for you but yes I absolutely love these I think if you're gonna get a cowboy boot I think a brown is probably a good way to start a brown or a black I think both will kind of go with any outfit I'm so excited to style these for a video. This is literally like my favorite thing I could possibly have thought of like to do for a video. It's kind of mad. And then like I said, I also got a black pair. These are also from Simply B and JD Williams and I absolutely love these as well. They've got the exact same style, I think, like the pattern. They've got an ex the, the exact same pattern just coming along here, I think. They're exactly the same. They've got like a little little bit there and then they've got the bits on either side these bits here as well are a lifesaver to help you kind of like get into the shoe if that makes sense just kind of like give a little pull as it put it on it's just nice i quite like that little touch to the boot so yes this one is a size six as well and they fit me perfectly like i said i'm a size six these are a size six they fit perfectly i should have gone for both uh size sixes but alas i did not um and then the last pair i have are these these are from pull and bear yes they are they're from pull and bear and um i absolutely love them red and white they literally are giving me ted mosby vibes if you've watched how i met your mother then you'll understand that reference if not then i don't know what to say to you it says 49 euros but i didn't pay that for them i think i might actually have gotten them sent to me so potentially PR. They also have them in a black and white pair. So they've got the exact same like style, but in a, so they've got an exact same style like this, but they've got them in a black and white pair. I just prefer the red. And now that I've got like the basic um, black and brown pair, I think a red pair just is quite cool. I did have these to begin with. Like this was my first pair of cowboy boots and I do regret that almost. Like, I wish I'd gotten these after these two because I got these and I was like, I've got nothing to style them with. Now I have, because I've now got the brown and the black ones, I've bought bits and pieces and these go with a lot of other bits that I've now got as well. So th they do work now, but beforehand, because these are red and white, they were kind of hard to style compared to the other ones, like I said. Yes, as well, these are the normal size. They haven't got a lot of sizes left in these, I won't lie to you. So, I mean, check out down below, they might have your size in them. I think last time I looked, they had a three and a four. They might, they might come back in stock though, or it might be worth in the black. Um, it might be worth checking out the black and white pair. But yeah, just thought I'd let you know that. 
and also if you have wider feet like me these are quite like fitted they are quite tight to get into like they feel very like your foot's in so those are my besties that i absolutely adore that i basically wanted to share with you guys how i'm styling them for spring and summer my go-to at the minute is midi skirts won't lie to you i'm going to do a separate video on styling those another time the cowboy boots are heavily reliant on the midi skirt i have been absolutely obsessed with styling them with my midi skirts with my cowboy boots so i've been wearing like my little floral midi skirt just like as well i also just recently recently got a gingham midi skirt which I absolutely love and I think with the brown boots as well it would look so so sick together just as a nice little spring summer vibes and it's honestly making me feel like a cottage core babe i won't lie to you also i've got a i've got one from urban outfitters which i'm absolutely obsessed with again it's floral print i don't know what's happened to me i've kind of regained my love for floral print and i'm really enjoying it absolutely love that with like a little white sort of like bandeau-y um bandeau bandeau don't know bandeau uh sort of style top i just think it looks really really cute and again a little cottage cool girly she's loving life she's gallivanting around in a little field being all cute and fun and i love it and i just think it just with the cowboy boot it just kind of like levels it up a bit you know it just levels it up like i've like i've obviously worn midi skirts beforehand with like a pair of trainers or some black sandals and it just doesn't hit the same at the minute without a pair of cowboy boots and i hate that for me but i love that also at the same time for us um and also if you're not a vi if you're not vibing with mini skirts how about mini skirts what do you feel about those um, i actually recently got that floral skirt that everybody else has been raving about rightfully so because it looks glorious um i've been pairing that with a normal little white tee and or if you want to up it a little bit if it's like date night or if you want to wear something a little bit more crazy um i've been wearing it with like the um it's like a halter neck top from princess polly that i did do a video of a couple of weeks ago now um and then like an oversized denim jacket because we are in the uk you guys might not be where you're watching this but i live i reside in the uk and it's normally quite cold i don't think i can probably go out without some form of tight or jumper on the top uh i'm, I'm not wearing tights on my top but you know what i mean but then the cowboy boots kind of help you out as well because they're like a boot i've also got a couple of really really cute dresses so the white dress that i'm showing you at the minute is from urban outfitters and i absolutely adore this one i know that urban outfit is a little bit more spenny i've been looking for a dress like that for a long time and i couldn't find one on any other one i'm really really enjoying that sort of like fashion as well at the minute i just eat it all up won't lie to you i enjoy the hell out of it you could also wear them with either the red the red or the brown cowboy boots i think i think so that is actually quite a wild card there also i've got a really really cute maxi dress from h&m and that is really really sweet i got given it when i was going to the h&m uh, showroom and that was obviously a couple of videos ago as well i showed you guys that um, but that as well is top tier cottage core right she's got the maxi dress on she's got the cowboy boots on just literally whack her then on a picnic blanket what else do you need in a field like, what else do you need tell me now what else do you need and i will give it to you beautiful stunning spectacular i'll pop links down to everything as i said um, so if you want to shop anything if i have got links to it i'll pop it down below if i haven't unfortunately you've missed out on this time so i've got this really really cute dress from glamorous i don't know if you guys have heard of it before then i wear it with a little denim jacket on the top because obviously as i said before we are living in the uk i am residing in the uk and it's probably going to be a bit chilly so a denim jacket is an also a go-to the one that i'm wearing a lot at the minute used to actually be my nan's and she gave it to me years ago and i refused to get rid of it because obviously it's my nan's i know that i'll reach for it at some point you know and i have now i reached for it a couple of years ago when i obviously got it and then kind of like i've had it there and this year the darker denim i'm actually starting to quite enjoy just on the top half not so much on the bottom half i'm always going to be a medium to light wash girly on the bottom half but i do quite enjoy it as like a top half i like pull an outfit together you know it's quite cool another thing that i wasn't really too sure on but i saw some girlies wearing it over on pinterest so i was like actually 
I'm gonna give it a whirl and see what I think. With the shorts, obviously, if it's gonna be a little bit colder, um, you can just wear another jumper over the top, another jumper. You're gonna wear three jumpers, wear three jumpers. But if you're wearing like a t-shirt and then like the pairs of shorts that I said about with a pair of cowboy boots, then it gets a little bit chilly in the evening. Oh my God, have a little sweatshirt or probably a jumper to hand. Um, this one that I'm gonna wear with it, I think I actually quite enjoy it. I won't lie to you. So I have got these pairs of shorts from Primark. They're current at the minute. I don't know how, like, when you're watching this, but as of April 2022, they are, it sounds weird saying 2022, they are current stock. I don't, I can't remember what style they are either because I haven't got the tag on them anymore. I haven't got them to me either, so I can't show you them. They are glorious. They fit me beautifully. They're like the perfect baggy short and they come just to the right length as well. The length literally just covers the problematic bit of thigh that normally would have rubbed and it's glorious. It's the comfiest thing ever then. Like normally I don't, I don't hate wearing shorts in the summer like I'll wear them but when you haven't got to worry about that chafing or bringing your liquid talc or bringing your liquid talc or your roll on or you know something to stop the the, the chafe from happening can't remember how much they were like over just over a tenner and that's a win from me another win for the girly i hope you guys did enjoy this little styling video um if there's anything else that you'd like to see from me styling wise then do let me know down below i don't know why i just punched myself there and yeah i can definitely do that just for you i think i can probably do it just for you um nobody else just for you because you asked so nicely let me know what your favorite outfit was as well from this video and as i said as well i'll link everything down below or i'll try and find some alternative alternatives i'll try and find some alternatives so you can also get the look cop the look get it you know get it <laughs>